G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and uh, this horse is a 17 hand uh, quarter horse that has just come in, he's four year old, he's just come in because he has some bucking issues. The, I think the owner may have come off him and the, recently the horse show last weekend uh, the trainer came off him and uh, he does what they call hunter under saddle which is an English class they do at the, the quarter horse shows and uh, so he's here to get rid of his bucking issue but I really don't think this horse has a bucking issue I think this horse has a worry issue that really hasn't been addressed all the way along in his early training um, you know today I just started on him here and today's the first day and uh, all I did was start with the basic desensitizing and when I first started doing this I didn't worry him a great deal but worried him a bit enough but then when I started doing this right here he ran around sideways and pulled back and reared up and ran backwards and just did all sorts of crazy stuff just with the, actually when I first when I first did this actually this part right here made him run sideways and pull back and rear up and run around crazy and then when I started with this here this really 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 bothered him so what I think with this horse is he really hadn't been taught how to deal with stuff that happens to him like things that make him worried and I think when he is actually bucked or run off or the things he's done that make people cause off it's just been his he's had all that worry built up and it's just it's, he's had to explode with it and, and off it went um, there is a trainer in Arizona named Harry Whitney and uh, here's a saying where he says a horse can handle a cup full of worry and the operative word in that little sentence is handle meaning contain your horse has a worry cup and he can contain that as long as the cup's not full as soon as that cup of worry gets full and it overflows that's when you get a buck bolt rare spook pull back one of those sorts of things and I really think this horse's worry cup was very full because when I did when I first started the session today, when I did that right there, his worry cup completely overflowed and he just ran off all around the place. I mean, he can wait for me, but you know, ran sideways and jumped and carried on. His cup now is a lot emptier to where we can do a lot of things. And you know, what we haven't done with this horse, which expose him to you know everything we haven't been exposed into much yet but what what we've taught him that is noises that happen have nothing to do with you okay a fella could start up a chainsaw over here it'll be just another noise we've been exposing this horse to things that move and make noise and you know and he's handled really well today and i really don't think this horse is going to be um too big a problem I just really think somewhere along in his basic training he has not been shown how to deal with situations and and um, you know that horses like this it's a little bit like your kid going to school and or not sending your kid to school to learn English and maths because we come from an English speaking country you should just know that you, we can't expect them to know stuff we have to show them stuff and so this horse is pretty much the same so just think about that with your horse you know, think about your horse's problems and make sure that you have addressed all the th all the things to help them with their problems. Make sure that you've you you know properly prepared those horses to be exposed to different things. Just don't expose them to things because, you know, what I like to do is uh, I like to control the situation, not have the situation control me. So. You know, let's say I'm riding this horse and some sort of noise bothers it and it wants to run off. It runs off, I fall off, it runs away, the noise goes away. The horse has now learnt that running away makes that noise go away. Whereas in our session today, when I first started with this bit here, this horse thought running away would make this noise and movement go away. He has since, and look at the dopey look on his face. See his eyes just blinking right there? Um, this horse has learnt that just paying no attention to this is what will make it go away. Anyway, just something to think about. Uh, hope that helps. See you guys next time.